So I'm going to show you how to upgrade Stack Overflow 2013 from compatibility level 2008 right up to 2019. To do that, the first check we're going to do, we're going to check the version of SQL Server we're on. And we can see we're on SQL Server 2019. And we can run a check and we can see that's a compatibility level 100, which is 2008, as you'll see. I think Look at properties, we can go to options, and in here we've got the compatibility level at 2008. Really easy, you can just click on 2019, select OK, and we can change that. If you're working at home and it's just your local machine, that's fine, there's no real risk. You can most probably change it back without any problems. However, if you're in a production environment, a professional environment, there's a lot of functionality changes in these versions so you'll want to do a steady jump to that first and before we do anything we want to run a check to confirm there isn't any breaking changes within stack overflow 2013 that isn't going to work on 2019 so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go to a link um, and we're going to look at the migration assistant the links here which i'll post in the description and what it'll do is it'll put just an MSI file there. And we're going to click twice on that and it's going to open this just like that really. And you're going to click through the wizard and install it on your machine and you can launch it straight afterwards. As you can see, I've already got it on my machine. So I'll close off this. So then what that's going to do is that's going to fire up the migration assistant. And we are going to create a new assessment. So we're going to look at here, we're going to add that, and we're going to call it uh, 2019 check. The assessment types, the engine. We've got, we can look at integra integration services if we wanted. It's SQL Server. We've got other options as well. And we can look at Azure, but we're going to click on SQL Server. We're going to create that. And I want to check for compatibility issues. I don't want to check at 2022. I'm going to change that to 2019. So any changes along the way will be included in the results. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go down here and select next. This is my server name. This is my username and password. So that's got to have all these permissions on there. So if it looks got it has to have view server state, connect to SQL, etc. And then I'm going to select connect. These are all the options here. I'm going to select just this one for now. If you're upgrading the whole server, you'll naturally want to select all of those. But for now, we're just going to select Add. And I'm going to start my assessment. Nice and quick. We can see there's no compatibility issues at any of the versions. So we're good to upgrade. So, however, Let's throw in a problem. So we're gonna to go to here and I'm gonna create a procedure. I'm gonna put order by one in there. It's not good practice. You should order by the name of the column. That's created. I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna restart my assessment. And we can see we've got behavioral changes and not breaking changes. These are the ones you really want to worry about. So if you've got breaking changes in there, you need to change those prior to your upgrade or else this stuff isn't going to work. These behavioral changes, it's just what you should stop. So really good little link from Microsoft, bad habits to kick. So you can click on that, it'll tell you what sort of stuff you need to change and why. It'll still work, but you can see over here, not supported above version 19. That's the same for all of these here. So I'm quite happy with that. This was just a test procedure. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on this. I'm going to change this to 2019. Save it. Alternatively, I could just run this to version 2, 150. And when I run this again, I've got my compatibility level at 150. 
So we're all done. It's as simple as that.